Tell me very honestly, would you do it? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, I'm going to ask you a very important question. I want a honest answer to that question down below this video. Yes, of course, also looking at the Bitcoin charts because there's something happening at the charts that you need to see for the next coming time. And yes, of course, we had a dip, but please Watch this video till the end so you really understand what the hell is going on now to Bitcoin. And of course, ending it with an inspirational quote. It's going to be a short but powerful video as I don't have too much time today. But let's quickly jump into that first question now. Bam. My question is a very simple question. As you all read the news, Pavel, the CEO of Telegram, was set free on bail of $5 million. So he needs to stay in France. He can't leave France, but at least he's not in prison anymore. My question now to you guys. If you would be a billionaire like Pavel and you would need to pay 5 million euros in bill and you would be able to move freely around France, would you stay in France or would you just leave France and never come back to France? I really want to know your opinion because if you stay in France, you have the risk to go into prison for 20 years, but you will also be able to fight for the freedom of speech because you go into court and maybe you win this court case and maybe that's a very important court case for the freedom of speech for everyone. But on the other hand, 20 years in prison is not something you want to do as a very young billionaire that wants to uh, promote freedom all over the world. And if you would be able to escape it because a billionaire can rent a helicopter or a private jet or just a car or a camper van to drive across the border to Spain and fly from there or whatever possibility is or boat trips to wherever you want in the world. And if you, if you escape like that, they would of course always try to search for you or you would never be able to come back to France or probably any other European city or country. But what would you do? I would never want to go into prison. Not for one year, not for two years, not for 20 years. I would probably disappear and never come back to France or Europe again because, you know, we know that Western society is like going to go downfall from here and do like a centralized, very social credit system like world, I, in, in my opinion. But that's, you know, that's my opinion. That's why I stay flexible. That's why I don't own anything. You know, flexible. If I want to leave, I can leave to wherever I want, whenever I want, and with whoever I want, because I'm, a, I'm flexible. I don't own real estate. I don't own yards, cars, blah, blah, blah. I can just move to the next place very light, very quick, and I have still my whole capital with me, and nobody will be able to stop me because I'm fully in Bitcoin. So for me, it would be definitely a possibility to flee France, but again, you're doing something very illegal. Let me know down below what you would do. What is your perfect solution for Pavel's issue now in France. Would you stay? Would you leave? Would you fight for the right of other people but be able to go into prison for 20 years? What is it that you exactly would do? And we do know that many countries have a history with throwing people in there into jail for nothing. As you also know what happened to Ross Ulbricht, this guy is sitting like life sentence for creating a marketplace where people could pay with Bitcoin. He did not sell anything himself, he just created a marketplace and he is still life sentenced into jail because of creating it. So don't tell me that Pavel can't go into prison for 20 years or whatever. We never know. They want to set an example to those people that everyone is looking at. High trees catch a lot of winds. Pavel is a high tree when it comes to freedom of speech in messaging apps. So yes, high winds catch a lot of wind. That's an example. Maybe they want to make an example, okay? If you want to create an app like that, you will go into prison for 20 years. But let me know what you would do. Now, let's jump into the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin today. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is a day chart. On this day chart, you can see that the support level, the massive area of support, this is 53K level, might we fall deeper, but we had a huge wick into this area of 48K. And we are slowly trying to move upwards again. So this trend line still is keeping intact like this, of course. Uh, we should be going up from here to break that red line again. That red line is the resistance and the daily. That's a 200 daily moving average. If we break that 200 daily moving average, it's very positive. If we don't, that's not good. That's a very bearish sign. Uh, that yellow line, guys, that's the 100 daily moving average. It's never okay. It's never bullish when the 100 crosses over the 200 to the downside. Should be bouncing from here. 
Uh, but let's see, if we don't do that, then the next support level would be that 52k level, guys. RSI yeah, is also pointing downwards again to the 30 level. MACD also downwards, guys. Uh, again, let's see where it goes, but let's zoom out a little bit to the 5 day chart, the Gaussian channel. This Gaussian channel still seeing these candles close a little bit above it. This one is the important one, I told you. It will close down in three days and 18 hours. This one needs to close above this channel to stay positive uh, for the short term. If not, we can also turn bearish for the short term and we could drop all the way to that 53k level again. But I just showed you that was also the massive area of support. Let's see how it plays out. We just need to be patient. Long term, it doesn't change many things to Bitcoin. Short term, yes, it could change. And it could take another one month or one and a half month of sideways movement because we before we break out. But long term, I'm going to show you, it doesn't change too much. As you can probably see on the first chart that I'm going to show you now, and it is this one. Um, bam. On this one, you can see the Bitcoin all-time highs. Now, if we look to every cycle, for example, here, this cycle over there, 2014 cycle, there were many new all-time highs. If you look over here in 2018, uh, 17 uh, bull market all the way till uh, January 2018, many new all-time highs. These gray bars, they tell you, hey, there was a new all-time high created. 2021, many new all-time highs. Now, 2024, we only had one all-time high. Not many, not a couple, not a few, only one. That's an indication we are just getting started. This is the period of the first all-time high over there. The first all-time high over there. That is where we are now, that period, the first all-time high over there. There's gonna be a shitload more of new all-time highs between now and the end of 2025. That's also what we see here in the bottom, the days between the all-time highs. We can see that the amount of days here, look, we are just here. We are just at that bottom phase, the bottom phase that we were, for example, over there. So we are not at the top yet. We are just at the bottom. We still need to go to that period that there will be no all-time highs anymore. It will take thousand days to have a new all-time high. Now, you're in the phase to create new all-time highs, a lot of new all-time highs. In these phases that we are low, look, check to the chart, we are creating all these all-time highs. You see this? Every time. This is just the beginning. We will see many more new all-time highs. Now, then we go into this chart. This chart is showing you this red line. It takes 100, it takes 1120 days. 1120 days, 1120 days. And every time after 1120 days, we go into that last one and a half year of very bullishness, 520 days. So between the halving and that moment will take some time. Every time between 100 and 160 days. So over here again, we saw the same. After the halving, took 160 days, then we broke that red line, then bam, we went to the top. Now again, here we might have seen an autumn high a little bit too early, but still, after the halving, we are fighting that red line, and after that red line is being broken, we will go to that new top, in my opinion, around 160k. Very simplified chart, really cool chart, I found it. And yes, there was a black swan event over here, that was COVID, and there will be many more black swans events always, you know, happening during the Bitcoin bull cycles. But again, these won't stop Bitcoin. Bitcoin will fight this line, and when it breaks it, it will go and create a new all-time high. Very cool and simple chart by Master Kenobi, found this one on Twitter. This chart, also very simple. In this chart, they tell you what the best strategy would be. Uh, the best strategy would be, and this is a chart by the Scalping Pro, the best strategy would be, in his opinion, to buy 500 days before the halving and to sell 500 days after the halving. If you do that strategy, you will always be making profit. Let's see, here you would have bought the bottom over there, that was like the bottom of uh, poor $200. Uh, you would have sold around the top, over there, around 20K. You would have bought the bottom over here at $300. You would have sold that top somewhere there, around 50K, uh, just before the top. Then you would have bought again that bottom around 16K, and you would be selling 500 days later than in the halving, so that somewhere in the end of 2025, you will sell again. 
if you would have done this strategy to buy 500 days before the halving and sell 500 days after the halving, you would always be making profits. And B strategies is buying six months before the halving and selling 16 months after the halving. This one says 500 days and 500 days. Do the calculations yourself, but it's a really cool strategy to make profits without doing too much difficult trading. And that's just two times, of course, that's buying the bear market bottom 500 days before the halving and selling around the top 500 days after the halving. So the only thing you now need to do, if you didn't buy yet, buy now, take your profits 500 days after the halving, buy back again 500 days then before the next halving in 2028. Simple. I hope you really enjoyed the charts again. Yes, short term trading possibilities, shorting Bitcoin or even buying now. There's that whatever play you're playing, there's uh, possibilities to trade Bitcoin and to do it in a profitable way. If you need some help, then go to the bitcoinfamily.com and then sign up to the VIP member because there you can find all the help you need about trading Bitcoin and much more, guys. Now, um, the charts showed you exactly the same thing as they showed you yesterday. If you zoom out in Bitcoin, look at that bigger picture, you're just zen. You're just waiting for that second part of the bull market to start all the way up to into 2025 to a new top between 120 and 160 thousand US dollar per Bitcoin. Because you saw that last chart, we still need to break that red line. Could take 1200 days, but when we break it, we go up and we move on to the last part of the bull market. And it will take till the end of 2025, guys. I've been saying this to you from the beginning. I never said 2024, I always told you, a new all-time high in 2024, bull market top and end in 2025. And that's exactly what is going to happen. I believe that Bitcoin is again going to do exactly that cycle, that four-year cycle that it has been doing all the time. 2013 top, 2017 top, 2021 top, 2025 top. Four years in between, every time again and again. So when it comes to Bitcoin, zoom out, look at that bigger picture. Just enjoy your investment. Your investment will grow. Every four years, there will be a higher high, a higher top, and a higher bottom. That is why you trust Bitcoin as a store of value. You should not be freaking out about every day chart, minute chart. You zoom out. And you zoom in at life. You should be willing to enjoy every single minute of the day of your life. That is what you should be freaking out about, to enjoy your life to the fullest every single minute of the day and not running that hamster wheel 24 seven. And please don't fool yourself, stop fooling yourself that you're happy in that way and you can't be happier in another way. There is always other ways to become more happy than where you are at the moment. And we all know that, but we just think, ah, nah, nah, I'm happy like that. And so that we fool ourselves so that we don't go for the top. But that, let's go into the inspirational quote to talk about that a little bit more, bam. The inspirational quote for today is, if you can change your mind, you can change your life. Simple as that. The moment you can change your mind, you will be able to change your life. As many very intelligent researchers already have proven in the past, that whatever we think, continuously think, is also how we create life. If we start to focus on something that will become our life. So the thing that you should be doing is visualizing, manifesting your life the way you would like to live your life. Sit down or lay down and just think or see the life that you would like to be living. When you see that life in your manifesting and your visualizing capacity that we have with our brain, then you sit down, you just write that down, what you just saw, and you keep repeating that to yourself. Because you're, whatever we tell our brain, our body will do. So if we tell our brain continuously that this is the life that we're going to live, this is the thing that we're going to do, at the end you will start doing that. You will attract people that help you in doing that. If you keep fooling yourself that you can't step outside of that hamster wheel or outside of that box, that you need to stay inside, you will forever stay inside. Because that's the assignment you give your brain and your body. Stay inside. Stay inside, stay inside. Please keep running, please keep running, please keep running. You are the one that has that steering wheel. You are telling your brain to do it like that. You could also be telling your brain to do completely different things. 
And that is the important step that most people forget. They think they all depend on everything around them, on all the people around them, on all the situations around them, on all the countries, politicians, whatever is around them. The whole thing that their happiness or their goal in life should depend on them. That's not true. You determine yourself which way to walk. If I want to walk to the right or if I want to walk to the left, to the front, to the back, I tell my brain to do this. So the moment I start to focus on those things that I really want to achieve in life, that is the moment when I will also start to live that life. If I always focus on no, 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 you will always get no, 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 and you will never run forward. You will always stay at that same place forever, built in that life that you probably not want to live, or that's not your optimal life, or maybe you can't even believe that there is a better life than the life that you're living at the moment. But for me, one thing has been proven in the last eight years. Whatever you're capable to think of, to visualize, to manifest, to tell your brain, to keep fooling your brain, that is the moment your brain, your body, your whole person will move towards those goals and not backwards, forward towards those goals. It's all in here. It's all the mind. It's all your mindset. It's all you telling that mind what to think, what to do. And then everything will follow. It's simple as that, guys. I know it sounds like very floaty and flowy and like maybe maybe a little bit too flowy for many people. People are like, oh no, you need to work, you need to make money and then you can buy whatever you want in money. Yeah, that's another way. Also a hard way. You choose your heart. <laughs> you can choose everything in life the hard way and heart has double uh, meanings. But you check my tweet about that. I tweeted like two or three days about that. Yes, uh, you can choose your own heart, guys. Now. Please, uh, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know what you would do. Would you escape? Would you stay? What do you think about the charts? And what do you think about the inspirational quote? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing, I don't even know what day it is, Thursday? Thursday, uh, and see you tomorrow again. Bam.